the president of a university, a communist university in Shekhasvara, Shekhasvara, Hungary, came and he said, we want you to come and speak at this university. I was invited to a university to speak at the atheistic society. Yeah, and I won't tell you which university it was, but I, I drove to, to Cambridge. And so I said, fine. I said, fine. And he said, now here's the ground rules. We are going to have one of our communist astronomers speak. Your topic is astronomy. You have to speak for one hour and show that there's a God from astronomy. Then our astronomer is going to speak for one hour and show why there is no God. I said, what's the heading? Well, what's, what's the caption? What are we debating on? And they said this, the debate is this, the premise is there is no God. I said, okay. They said, yeah, the, the president of the atheistic club, he will stand up and he will share for 15 minutes on how there is no God. And then we're going to give you 10 minutes to prove to us that there is a God. And, uh, you know, I was like the, the, the lamb thrown to the wolves. But if you have the lamb of God in your heart, lambs can slay dragons. Have you ever read the verse, led like a lamb to the slaughter? And I said, let's say that, that knowledge is a body of 100%. Would you say that your students know 90% of all there is to know in the world? They said, no. I said, just intellectually, do they know 50% of all there is to know? No. Do they know 20% of all there is to know? Of all this great body of knowledge, of every fact and knowledge in the world, let's say your students know 5%. Just from an intellectual standpoint, they said, well, Dr. Philly, we, they don't know 5%, but I'm going to give them 5%. I said, this circle represents knowledge. Everything that could ever be known about any subject fits in there. All the sciences, all the arts. You're an intelligent man. You study at this university. How much do you know of everything that could possibly be known? If your students know 5% of all there is to know, it means that they don't know 95% of all there is to know. Intellectually, is that a good argument? I said, so that's what you do know? He said, yes. I said, and that's what you don't know? He said, yes. But this does exist, you just haven't discovered it yet. Yes. Now let me ask you my next question. If by your own admission your students only know 5% of all there is to know, could it be possible that God exists in the 95% of the knowledge they don't have? <laughs> is that possible? Therefore, could God not exist in a dimension that you haven't yet discovered? So you're not an atheist, at best you're an agnostic. Therefore, sir, I would suggest you're not an atheist, you're an agnostic and one step closer to knowing my Jesus.